Okay, so I'm in a narrow boat, but this could be any type of boat, to be honest with you. Um, this little PIM gearbox here and an um, R&D coupling. Um, and I noticed there's a bit of a strange clump going on in the gearbox. Uh, however, one of the things I always like to check is, and it's a simple check, is to make sure that these things are tight and not loose, as in this case. If you notice, the R&D coupling has actually got a bit of a bend in it. And that's not a camera angle you can actually see that is not straight so that tells me that this gearbox has had a bit of a clunk you can probably see that quite clearly now this should be actually running 100 percent true um, so there is something definitely going on with this uh, i don't know if it's that one that's loose there's another one here that's somewhere that's loose it's always the last one or oh, you can hear it even clicking there it must be this one so that one's even loose and even turn it with my fingers. I don't know if you can see that. No, not very good when you're pushing 20 tons of boat on that. I actually feel the R&D is loose between the two. So um, when I start the engine up, which I'll do very quickly, and I'm sorry it's going to be noisy, but you'll hear, uh, I see a bit of a delay in the gearbox going in. Uh, before the shaft turns, so going ahead now. Right, I've actually engaged it. I'm waiting for it to actually engage. It has engaged, but it's. Oh, here it goes. It goes whoa. So you see straight away. You see straight away that there's definitely a, an issue with this gearbox. However, being the sort of nosy person I am, I think I found the reason, which is the fact that someone's changed the propeller and left it on board. And I think that sort of damage would probably knacker the gearbox quite clearly. So I've got, I've got the evidence and I've got all the indications of what's going on. And it just, uh, I always say another good reason why you should always have a survey. I hope you find these interesting. Feel free, free as always to share and thank you for following my journey. Ta-da.